Hi guys, today we are going to be unboxing this pretty big Schleich set. Um, it's number 42535 and it comes with the car and the trailer, which I'm pretty excited about. And we also get this um, lovely looking chestnut pony. Um, you can see the figures just in the corner here. We have lots of things wrapped in paper yeah I quite like this because I've had a few sets which haven't wrapped things in tissue paper and so everything's just been loose in the box which I feel could be a bit hazardous but in terms of damaging the sets but I'm glad that these are wrapped at least lots and lots of parts and we start with the car, which is currently just a shell of a car. I feel like this will look very cool when it's finished. Let's look at some of the details while it's empty. That looks quite cool. And we shall start by putting some seats in our car. This is so cool. I've never built a car before. I didn't want to break it, but <laughs> to be honest, these things are pretty impossible to break, but I'm always like, don't break it. There we go. And then this part looks like it goes like this. Back seats. Ooh, which also fold down. Right, now I need to put in a load of these little... Uh, I'm gonna say they're hinges. I think they're like hinge bits. Right, so I've now gone ahead and added all these little hinges all over the car. The smaller ones go in the actual car and then there's also these bigger ones that fit onto the doors. So I assume these lock together. Um, you also put the stickers in these. Okay, I've just gone ahead and put the stickers in. I think it looks a lot better with the stickers so yeah they go in just like that and now I think we can add the doors right so I have got there now and I've put all the doors in just make sure you push all the hinges like fully in because then the the car will stay kind of flush and the doors will close completely Next part is I just added the hinges to the boot. There we go. That one, sorry it's a bit dusty, I'll sort it in a bit. That one was a little bit harder because there's two hinges, but there we go. And you can push that back as well. Have an even bigger boot. These parts go in here like so and we also can do this part the tow bar have I got that around the right way? no that way that took a little force but I did it okay there we go this needs a little force I think that's supposed to go all the way up there but I'll do that off camera in a moment right now we have wheels I've just dropped one um, so we just put these in the tyres. These are the slightly larger wheels for the car. And then we also add the alloys to the wheels to give them a bit more detail and pop them on the car. Oop. I just opened the door. There we go. And that was that was easy enough. So we'll just do that with the other four. So there we go. We now have the car with its wheels on. Oh yeah, we can put the uh, like roof pieces on, which I've completely forgotten the name of. At this point, we can also add stickers to the car, but I am not going to at the moment. And that is the car finished, so we will move on to the trailer. Right. I've just put those on. I seem to have run out of these pieces. Maybe I've just re misplaced them. 
this rather massive looking piece slots into here by the look of it okay i decided to go ahead with keep building this off camera and i managed to locate the pieces i misplaced one of them and then another one was hiding in that bucket so i couldn't see it um so i attached the base together and then ooh, i put all the 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 white sides on attach this down here put this in here added the trailer door on and the roof and then also this cool looking compartment at the front which i think is quite fun so yeah that is where i'm up to now it's this bit and that goes in there and we get our wheel again you can add stickers at this point if you want to but i think i'm going to keep my blank for now i might add on some of the details like the number plate and that this piece which is the tent which should just fold out I have opened one tent before a green one in a different set so I should remember how to do this And then you can add these. These are, I wouldn't call them stickers. They are stickers, but they're not. They're kind of like removable stickers, I'd call it. Like they're very easy to pick up and replace again once you've already put them down. Because I had them in a different set, like I say. So um, I may put mine on later. I think it will probably look more realistic with it on. So I might do that. Right, we can now put our hay bale together well no technically that's straw our straw bale together and our hay i think that's pretty interesting how you can kind of like hang that on stuff i think it's supposed to be like a hay net although there's no like string to show that it's a hay net you can kind of tell from the the cross parts i think that can just hang on there right we have a little ladder which is how you're supposed to get up to the tent on top. Again, here are the stickers. These ones can go all along the side of the trailer, which I think is quite interesting. I'll just show you some of the accessories you get with this. So it looks like you get a couple of sleeping bags. That's one of them. And the other, a red and a blue. And then I'll show this one first. A little um, grooming kit box. Oh, that's the hat. The hat for the person. I'll just put that in there for now. Grooming brush. Another brush for grooming. And we also have a bucket here, which I just clip together. There we go. We also have a bucket. And then we have tack too. This is the bridle, quite a dark brown, and the saddle to match in dark brown. And this one has a red saddle pad attached to it. We also have this rug for the horse, which has a nice pattern. And then we also have, I think, a red halter, which I just need to open up. There we go. Yep, a nice. Right, so that was all the accessories. We now have the two people. I will just open this one on this end. Ooh. We also get this little um, band with, I think it's with the girls. This is like a bracelet for the person. It is a tiny bit fiddly, but once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. We, put the, we can put the person together 
It kind of reminds me like putting a Lego figure together <laughs> doing this. I always struggle to put the hair on. Why? Right, that's, that's the best I can do for now. I'll have to sort it in a moment off camera. But um, yeah, and then we also have the hat for her. Right, so I have now unwrapped both of the people. Um, they both have movable arms and legs, like so. And yeah. So that is those two. I also just attached the tent to the car and also added the stickers to it. These stickers work really well I think so they feel very good quality and you can like I say you can easily move them and replace them and they don't seem to get like like less sticky from you doing that. I used a pen lid to help me poke that through because it was a bit tough. I just noticed this clever little detail on here. I think this is supposed to be Horse Club Shrike 2021, which is when this set was released. I just thought that was a cool little detail to point out. Now, last but not least, we will open the horse. Here she is. A nice, gorgeous chestnut with a beautiful blaze. I think she's a very nice chestnut colour, actually. She's very pretty. And she has blue in her mane. There. Sweet little face. And her feet. She could probably be a little more shaded. Um, just to give her a bit more depth, but... I think she's still very pretty. So yeah, nice. And so that is our set. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think that's about everything, so I will wrap up now. I'll just leave a few photos at the end for you. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. I'll see you soon. Bye!